Today on Papa's Projects, we have this 12 kilowatt off-grid low frequency inverter connected to 12 poly panels, which is 3,000 watts. We're running two mini splits on this. And on our 48 volt battery bank, we're at 50.2. And if we look at what we're producing, oops, there it is. We are producing 2.26 kilowatts out of 3,000 watts of used 250 watt poly panels. That's pretty incredible. <laughs> That's, I didn't think I would get that much out of that. So that is really unexpected. So we basically right now have all seven mini splits going that we have connected. We have two on there. We have um, one on this one, the 240 volt 18,000 BTU. And then on this one, we have uh, one mini split and we are also charging this along with the solar but we're using the utility grid by having this plugged in we're also running our refrigerator freezers on that and there's a mini split upstairs on that this is a mini split upstairs this is a mini split downstairs and this is a mini split downstairs in the living room and we're running our pool pump over here. So over here, we have 27 volts on our 24 volt system. And we're right around 800 watts there, 800 watts here. This is 1.17 kilowatts and that's it battery bank that 48 volt is at um, 56 volt now this one's up to 56 so just want to let you know got all six running right now plus the pool pump um, I can probably plug in the pool heater on this one right here that would be equivalent to seven mini splits so but I'll tell you what it is 70 degrees inside the house 68 upstairs and it is right around 70 degrees in the garage one o'clock in the afternoon so it's probably about 94 degrees outside not using any grid electricity right now to run any of these six mini split heat pumps so <laughs> that's uh what is that we've got six seven and a half ton that's equivalent to the three and a half ton and the four ton that i have on my house that are central acs the heat pumps so and we're not paying a penny for the electricity on that and we have plenty electricity to spare here 56 here 56 here almost 27 here 27 on that one now one of the things that I did was I installed GFIs and a lot of these where I was able to like on this one here, I was able to, because it's split phase and I could do 240 or 120 um, on this one right here, it goes to this one, that's on one leg. And then on the other leg, oops, the other leg, we have it over here. So we can split up on two different legs. 
On this one, I can also split that up, but I've only wired one here. Now what I did was, you can see these numbers on there, number seven, and this is number seven, number six, and this is number six. So I know where, I, where my um, electricity, where to plug it in, according to, there's number five, number five, this is number one, number one, number three, number three, number four, number four. And we do have another outlet back here as well. So, but depending on the time of the day, some of these panels are on the east side of our yard. So as the sun is more towards three, four in the afternoon, those won't get any sun anymore. So I can actually just unplug it, and plug it back into another outlet. And it really works well, but all of these are GFI. So that I'll pop that GFI breaker before I would pop anything inside of here. And then we also have the breaker, geez, breaker here on all of these go into the battery banks. So we're protecting our inverters from overloading those things with current or voltage. And working out pretty good so far. Right now, we have both of these going at the same time. So that's equivalent to three ton air conditioner the size uh, I have a three and a half ton upstairs and that is cooling this entire three car tandem garage and it's keeping it nice and chilly standing in front of this it feels about 50 degrees so this is probably pushing out oh probably about 35 degree here right now because it's been running for about an hour hour and a half so you know, with this, like I said, it is, I'm really impressed with the efficiency I'm getting out of these used poly panels that I bought for $30 to $45, depending on what time of the year I bought them. I mean, <laughs> that is awesome efficiency on those. I didn't think I would even get 60% out of that. So that would be like 1.8 kilowatt. And right now we're getting like 75% efficiency out of there. And we're still charging our battery. So I'm really impressed with that. And like I said, this is a 12 kilowatt off grid low frequency. We only have 3,000 watts connected to this, and we're running two mini splits off of that. Uh, 12,000 BTU, 120 volt. So, and on top of that, we're also running our freezer, our other freezer, and this refrigerator freezer and during the day one of the things that I do is I turn all my freezers and refrigerators up to the highest setting so that it gets really cold and at nighttime I'll turn those down so that they'll stay cold if nobody opens that during the middle of the night these things won't use hardly any electricity all overnight because they've been cold for like 12 13 hours i mean on the highest setting so that saves quite a bit of um electricity on our battery bank or even if i decide to plug it into a, a grid so just want to let you know how happy i was with this we still have more panels to connect but i haven't taken anything from any of these other ones i just had some panels laying around that i was able to install and I believe I have eight more panels so that's another 2,000 watts that I can connect to this 
without disturbing anything on any of these over here. So, anyways, hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Talk to you soon. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. We'll see you soon.